We're gonna open up Core Web on our phone and look at our list of tickets. All right, so when I first get your tickets, typically you'll go through them and you kind of screen them and see what's clear and what's uh, you're gonna have to go out and locate. So once you find one you actually need to go to, you're gonna click on that ticket. All right, it's North Call Road. So the next step after this is to try to find that friend. So we're going to go to our Google Earth and search for North Call Road. I'm going to go back because I forgot the intersection. North Fulton Lake Road. Salt Lake Road. Go back to search. All right, so there is our location. So we've got five on the south side of the road. We're going to go back and look at our ticket here and see what they're actually asking for. They're asking for a 40-foot radius, radius of an existing pole, like with an orange ribbon. Um, 69 feet south of the center line. So it is on the south side of the road. So that tells us we're going to have to go to drive out to it. That's the process there. And we head out there and locate the ticket. Okay, I'm going to show you how to locate a fiber using the clamp. Okay, we're going to use the clamp here because in this location we don't have a handhold to get to to directly connect. So, got the fiber coming off this pole, just get enough of the fiber out that you can get the clamp on. Clamp on there. And then we're going to turn this on and set it to 33. Once we have our clamp on, turn the power on, the transmitter. Make sure it's on 33. And turn your receiver on and make sure it's on the same. Can you explain why we use those? Well, 33, 33 is the only one we use on when we're using the clamp. Um, there are several others you use when you're directly connected, but typically you only want to use 640 because it's got the least chance of bleeding off on other cables. To change the frequency on here, you just push this F button. We don't really use 65. You can use eight with the clamp too, but only if you're having trouble. Basically, it's just to confirm what you've already done with 33. And the other frequencies won't even show up unless I've got the direct connect cables connected to the transmitter. That 33 there, and set your receiver to 33. That 33 there, and every locate you come to, you want to do a circle around where you're starting, just to make sure you don't have any other signals. Once you think you're on it, you start locating. If you have trouble finding 
your signal close to the where you've hooked up. Just move away and then come back to that on the way back through. One flags every 10 or 15 feet. And my paint is frozen. <laughs> get it painted, you can put your flags in. Anywhere where you have a turn, you're going to want to put flags more often. And come back and turn your transmitter off. And the next step is take pictures. You open up your core web app. You open your ticket and you take your pictures. Usually take them, make sure you're in long distances, at least take them every couple flags. And then take a few coming back. And then power to turn it off. Same with this one. And when get this off of here, and if this wasn't already out, you know, I'm trying to get it tucked back in. And then you pack up your stuff and you get in your car and you close your ticket. I'm gonna show you how to attach the photos to your ticket. I'm gonna click on the ticket we're working on. We're gonna click on paper clip. You take pictures by clicking the camera. You take your pictures. Use photo, so we've got some pictures here. We're going to go back, so now they're on that ticket. To close the ticket, we're going to hit this check mark. Positive response is going to be marked. Department will be steak. Filling type is time and materials. It fills the rest in for you. Work performed, we mark the fiber. And then remarks will just say marked fiber in work area, hit done, and hit complete. And that's all you're going to do to close the ticket. When closing um, these tickets for Western, um, there's several different ways to bill. Um, for Merit, it automatically fills in that 0.25 for, for the um, billing charges. Uh, for PFN and for um, Everstream, it's a little different, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So this ticket here is a PFN ticket. So you go through the same process, you'll take your pictures, um, and then when you go to close it, most of it's the same. This is, say, with a marked ticket. Um, the department is going to be staked. Billing type, time and materials. It doesn't, get, it doesn't fill in the quant, quant, quantity automatically, so you're going to bill one for PFN and for Everstream every time. Um, marked, and then just like before, marked fiber. In work area, and then you close your ticket. That's it. Okay, we're gonna show you how to close a clear ticket.
Click on the ticket right here. Okay. We are going to hit complete. And bring up this screen. Your positive response. It's going to be no conflict. Department is going to be a site visit because we actually came to the ticket site. Work perform is going to be a clear. Um, action code doesn't matter. Um, this part is the billing part, and that's for Western. Billing type, retirement materials, and that'll. This is for merit, so 0.25 fills it in for you. We'll just put um, no underground fiber in conflict. Oops. With work, and then we'll hit complete. And okay. When we get back to our ticket screen with all the rest of our tickets, we hit back. And that's it.